To assess the foot, the, the foot and ankle joints, um, what we do is the ankle, very much like the wrist, has got flexion, extension, but this time it's got an inversion instead of adduction and an eversion rather than an abduction. So those are the four things that we're going to have a look at. When it's an inversion, we call it dorsiflexion, that's that direction, and when it's um, like an extension, we call it plantar flexion, think of plants in the ground, and it's that direction. So we start with active as usual, so I asked Tom with both feet, because we've got two to compare good with bad, to first of all bring his feet as far up dorsiflexion as he can, and we compare one with the other. Now we ask him to take them down, his toes down as far as he can, that's plantar flexion. Again, compare good with bad. Next thing we do is ask him to bring his insoles to face each other, which is inversion. And this way, that's it, inversion. And now go out that way, which is eversion. Okay? And we then do that passively. We would do the good and compare it with the bad. So we're going to take it up as far as it will go, we'll then take it down as far as it will go, we will take it inward which is the inversion, we'll take it out which is the eversion and we'll then do that resisted. So again we'd compare with good with bad, and first of all we will ask Tom to pull his foot upwards against my resistance. We'll now get him to push downwards against my resistance. Actually, this is I've automatically put my elbow into my waist because people can pull, push down quite, quite strongly. Now we're going to want him to take it into slight eversion and get him to try and put his insole inwards. And now take it into slight inversion and get him to start trying to push it outwards. And that's active passive resisted for the ankle joint.